Hi, my name is Kirsty Shrimp. I am an occupational therapist with Perry County Health System, and today we're going to discuss bedwetting. So, one of the main concerns that we hear that we see here at the clinic um, is an ongoing concern with nighttime incontinence, or otherwise known as bedwetting. While it may be an uncomfortable topic to kind of discuss, it is something that's important to address during the childhood years. So while bedwetting can be a result from a traumatic or emotional event, typically the reason that we see ongoing concerns is that their brain is not fully developed yet. Typically the area that helps assist with bedwetting is fully developed or integrated during the infant years when they are using belly crawling as their main mode of mobility. If a child skips that stage of development or only does it for a short time span, then that creates this organization in their body systems and can re result to bedwetting. So while it can be frustrating coming from a parent's point of view, it's important to remember that this is something that your child cannot control. Here at the clinic, we see children of all ages who have experienced or continue to experience ongoing concerns with bedwetting. If your child is experiencing concerns with bedwetting, reach out to your pediatrician or family physician and discuss occupational therapy.